welcome to whiteboard programming where we simplify programming with easy to understand whiteboard videos and today i'll be sharing with you what is sap hana you might have heard of this definition that sap hana is a database with unique in memory architecture but didn't really understood what it really meant so let's understand it in simple terms it means that sap hana uses simpler data modeling system compared to any usual database Unlike other databases that store data on a hard drive, SAP HANA stores it in in memory. This means that when you need the data, the system can access it directly from in memory storage instead of calling it from the hard drive. And this allows your system to run faster by extracting the information on demand whenever needed. Now, why consider using SAP HANA? While there can be many reasons, let's discuss the few major ones. Number 1, business intelligence. Let me tell you that if your company wants to stay ahead of your competition you should definitely adapt to SAP HANA. Companies like Hershey's and MG Motors have experienced the benefit of migrating to SAP HANA. They've also gained new insights and were able to explore good market opportunities with the help of SAP HANA's data processing and analytics. As SAP HANA offers advanced analytics and machine learning capabilities, it will not only enable you to handle a vast amount of data and gain insights from it, but also allow you to access the information in real time. Number 2, faster processing. If your ERP system currently handles thousands of transactions per day, SAP HANA can help reduce the time it takes to process the data needed. And with its in-memory capabilities, SAP HANA will also be able to produce even the most comprehensive report with much faster processing time. This will allow your organization to make decision based on real-time data and then take appropriate measures to overcome business challenges in a timely manner. Number 3, flexible approach. SAP HANA can integrate your data from both internal and external sources seamlessly. Plus, it offers the flexibility of integrating it with other databases and ERP software. So, you really don't have to give up on your current system interface. Now that we know the benefits, let's talk about the challenges of moving to SAP HANA. Number 1, planning pain points. Many organizations fail to identify the actual pain points of their current database infrastructure and as a result miscalculate the scope of the project. This can lead to the wasted effort and resources of your company. Number 2, technical issues with code conversion. There are many challenges which come from the technical side of migration itself. If your system is still using a non-unicode language, then it will be a big challenge to moving to SAP HANA. Number 3, execution downtime. As in any migration project, it all starts with an initial migration in a sandbox for testing. Only then does the migration proceed to development and quality before finally moving into production. The major concern when migrating into production is downtime since the users will not be able to access the system during this process. With that, I hope this video was helpful to you.